Is your mind a mess? Are your thoughts all over the place? Do you try to organize your mind, but to no avail? If this sounds like you, you may want to try writing to organize your thoughts and mind. Oh. Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Ari. On this episode, I discuss writing to organize your mind. And I've seen how much this has changed my life, and it's something that I would recommend to any single person, because my mind used to be a complete and utter mess. I used to be a terrible communicator. I couldn't get my points across. I'd always just ramble. I had trouble speaking up. I was very shy and fearful. And then I started journaling. One habit which changed my complete life, changed my mind forever. And I wrote pretty much every single day for almost three years. And the cumulative effect of it really started to add up. I always talk about this, the repetition, the repetition, repetition, putting in the reps And I now see that my mind is more organized than ever. I am a far more clear communicator than ever, a far more confident communicator than ever, and I owe it all to writing to organize my mind. And that's exactly what it has done. And you can write in any way. It can be journaling, poetry, fiction. I've noticed that for me, poetry helps me organize my mind even more, but it can even just be in bullet points. It doesn't even have to be in complete sentences, but ways to compartmentalize what's going on and ways to get what's in your mind out on paper ways to get the mess in your mind out onto paper stop holding it all on your mind that's what i tried to do i tried to hoard my emotions i was an emotions hoarder and i was a thoughts hoarder i didn't want to share anything that i was thinking and that really got to me that really affected my mental health negatively and the mess in your mind is going to make great art A lot of the greatest art we see comes from a lot of pain, suffering. It doesn't mean that it has to be from that, but if you're feeling that way, you need to find a way to drain the pain from your mental frame. It's a poem that I wrote. Love the rhymes. But the more you write, the more cohesive it's going to get. I know that when I started writing, it was pretty bad. It was very unorganized because that was a reflection of the state of mind that I was in. I had a very messy mind. But the more you write, the more organized your mind will become, the more organized your mind will become, the more organized your writing will be, the better it will be, the better your thoughts will be. And not better as saying like, there are better or worse thoughts, but the more basically loving they'll be, the less fearful. At least that's what I've seen from my experience. And the better you'll be able to formulate arguments and opinions, but also you won't be so attached to the outcome of these. You'll be able to see from both sides of the equation, from both people's points of view and this doesn't have to be long i would say maybe journal for 15 minutes a day do you have 15 minutes a day to spare to just write out what's going on in your mind how you're feeling why you think you're feeling how you're feeling just 15 minutes before you go to bed and it's the consistency and repetition as i'll always say consistency 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 repetition 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 because writing really does reprogram your mind and writing is going to help you organize your mind organize your thoughts at least that's what i've seen from my experience